Not to mention, this deal represents the largest investment in American passenger rail and in freight rail since the creation of Amtrak. Now, I know I'm Mr. Amtrak. I've traveled over 2 million miles in Amtrak. I've commuted every day. I get it. I know you think I'm nuts. But after my wife and daughter were killed, I decided to commute back and forth to Delaware. It was a 257-mile round trip. I'll tell you a real quick story. I shouldn't bore you with it, but, you know, the Secret Service, the best in the world, doesn't like you taking Amtrak. You know, it stops too many times on the train. They want me flying home, and the small jets are available as vice president. And but that costs a lot of money, so I would, get, I would go home on Fridays when, because my mom was passing away. I'd go home on Amtrak. And they published they keep fastidious record of the miles you travel in an Amer in America in a Air Force aircraft as president and vice president. And toward the end of my term, headline came out in all the papers, Biden travels, I think it was 1.3 or 1.7 million miles on the Air Force planes. And so I'm getting on the train on that Friday, and these guys all became my family, all the conductors. And a guy named Angelo Negri came up. He goes, Joey, baby, grabs my cheek like that. And I thought they were going to shoot him. I really did. I said, no, 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 no. He's a friend. He's like, what the hell? And he said, big deal, Joey. A million, whatever it was, 300,000 miles. You know how many miles you travel on Amtrak, Joey? And I said, no, Angie, I know. And he said, at retirement dinner, we calculated it. We estimated it. 127 days a year, 250 miles back and forth, three, 36 years. Then as Vice President, Joey, you travel more on Amtrak. Well, I, uh, and when they named a station after me in my city, someone complained that Biden was using his influence. I said, hell, they should name the whole Northeast Carter after me. I, more than anybody else. But all kidding aside, studies show if you can get to your destination in the same amount of time or less on rail than you can by car, people will take rail. And, Gov, you know this better than anybody. Imagine if you could get from Chicago, from lacrosse to Chicago, in two hours instead of four and a half. That's what this would allow us to build the capacity to do. And besides, it would not only make your travel easier, not, I don't know why I'd go to Chicago, but, you know, all, all kidding aside, it would reduce the largest source of pollution in America, vehicle travel. We're not just tinkering around the edges here. We're going to invest $66 billion in rail to eliminate backlogs, bring world-class rail service to areas outside the Northeast. Here in Wisconsin, we'll add new stops in Green Bay, Madison, and Eau Claire. This deal also makes the largest investment